pretty easy to put together, isn't oh, it? Oh, I like these stretch trains. Now, the ones we usually get, I don't think we've ever got the galvanized ones, and I'm not sure if we get them from But I like these better than the other ones. I can put any bottom in I want, I can flow it any direction I want. You can really get the water moving. You know, if I wanted to give it four inches of fall from there to there to get that water going to that drain, that's not a big deal. You can uh, you can uh, do the slope the way you want. Exactly. If I want to pitch it in there, hard as if I didn't have a pipe coming in the end, I'd be almost halfway up that side. And there's no pipe coming in here, but I left that side down. But you know, the amount of water they're going to get down the hill. I think we need to get it into that drain, but it's catching water from the hill and footer drain. Okay. So I got about quarter bubble on that side, a little better on this side. Plenty to get the water to it. You want it tight. You want it, you want a tight concrete. You don't want it. You want to wet it up a little bit now pour the outside. But when you do when you do the insides of these, you want that concrete stiff. When you straight edge it off, it doesn't sag, it doesn't want to start running down, you know. The more water you put in, the more it's gonna to want to level out. So Concrete. I don't ever like putting rebar down into something. Oh, I don't? more or less just pull them out and let the concrete pour around them. Locked it in there, even you know, even more. I don't. I, we'll pull the pins after he pours the other side. We'll pull the pins, and that thing will be floating in there. Really? Okay. I don't ever like driving rebar on the ground, and it's staying in the concrete. Just, oh, I mean, okay. it's rebar rust, you know. Yeah. Well, that's all we do on every box we set like this. It's got them tabs on it, we just you bend them out and embed them in the concrete as well. They're not super heavy, you know, so that 16 penny nail will hold it and then when you tie them together, that just holds the thing from racking back and forth. I got you. You know, I mean, eventually it might start reacting on the drain. It's going to be here forever. 